time for Be All You Can Be right here on the Beat 99.9 FM. The Catalyst is in the building with a special guest. Uh, we have none other than Fela Durotoye right here in the studio. Should I say you guys are welcome or should I say, uh, Fela, you're welcome because Larry is like in-house, you know, he's part of the family. Well, it's just great to be here. It's absolutely great all the time, every time I'm here and especially when I'm with my brother from another mother. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's your show today, man. My twin brother, Larry Lushala, it's great to be here, bro. Right? <laughs> Now, double restoration, double promotion, next levels are not just going to come like that. You've got to work hard. You've got to know where you're going. And you've got to be that man that God has created you to be. So today, we're, we're kicking off um, with the theme, Man of Honor. Last uh, month, uh, we spoke about the ultimate virtuous women. Now it's time for the men. Who is a man of honor? You know, um, what character traits do they have? You know, um, what do they do? What don't they do? And to kick off this uh, theme and this topic uh, is none other. You know, um, I have a lot of friends. Um, uh, <laughs> over the last 47 years, I've met a lot of men. And um, I must say, you know, um, this guy that's sitting next to me is definitely a man of honor. You know, I've seen men, I've hung around men, I've, you know, moved around with men, but this guy, you know, you sit on top of Bonnie, man of honor. Oh, uh, <laughs> um, you know, it, it, I'm almost shot for words. Um, somebody said to me once that the greatest day of your life is when the people who know you the best love you and respect you the best, mm -hmm. or respect you the most. And when I hear my twin brother, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps undoubtedly, of all men that I know, the one I love the most. Wow. Um, say these kind of things. And I'm looking in your eyes, I'm trying to figure out if you could be. Are you using <laughs> it? I'm, I'm, I'm really honored. Thank wow. you so much. Wow. Thank wow. You. So, Fela, you know, um, the people out there that have said, you know what, you can't be honorable in Niger. You know, Niger is an environment where you must, you must go with the flow. You must do this, you must do that. How have you been able to do it, man? How? Look, you know how it is, Eric. There are certain things that are easy to teach because I'm a teacher. Mm. But then when you teach them, sometimes it looks like it's because, you know, it's packaged. Mm. One of the things that I found out, ultimately, is that a man of honor is a man who makes his family, his nation, the people who know him, and his God proud. Mm. Ultimately, mm. the catalyst, that is the bottom line. A, that man. a man who makes himself, his family, those who know him, his nation, and his God, proud. Wow. <laughs> so practically, so how do you make yourself proud? How do you make your family proud? How do you make your community proud? How do you make your nation proud? How do you make God proud? I have learned, and I think it's not fair to say I, I think we have both learned, because we've done this together for the last 10 years. We found nine traits in, in men of honor mm. that, in a sense, if you work these nine traits in your life on a daily basis, you will undoubtedly be a man of honor. Mm. And I'll just break them up into maybe three so that, you know, I don't know what, but I'll do the first Just three. go with the flow. Number one, a man of honor makes a positive impact on everyone that he meets and everywhere he goes. Mm. Meaning that every time a man of honor gets somewhere, by the time he leaves, the place is better, even if it's by a little bit. A man of honor does things that will make other people say thank you. That's what a man of honor does. Number two, a man of honor is a solution provider and is never a part of the problem to be solved. So every time you show up, it's either we're going to say, oh God, problem don't come, or thank God, the solution is here. A man of honor is a thank God man, not an oh God man. A, <laughs> a thank God man, not an oh God man. You Break know, that down. Because every time a man shows up, the people that see you are going to say, oh God. Mm. If you're a problem, they will say, oh God, the day has come again. Mm. If you are a solution, they will say, thank God. The he has come again. He has now come. Thank God. Wow. You have to be a thank God man. Not an oh not God. An oh God. 
Hmm? Number three, hmm. a man of honor is a role model that is worthy of example and, and emulation. Meaning that a man of honor is someone that everybody else should try to be like. And it doesn't have to be a big thing, though. That's not what I'm talking about. It's not like you. you know, but what time do you arrive at work? What time does a man of honor do what he does in a way that he, you know, if, if everybody else does it at that same time? What, how do you drive? A man of honor cannot go against one-way traffic. Mm. It, mm. It, it, it's possible now. A man of honor cannot do something that we will have to rebuke him and tell other people not to be like him. Mm. Because a man of honor makes his himself, his, his, the people who know him, his family, his nation, and his God proud. Mm. That's three. Number four. Number your four. Show, your number, show. Four. Mm. number four. A man of honor gives and is the best of himself to any endeavor that he puts his hands to, especially something that is naturally good. And I'll explain the, the two different things. Number one is that whatever a man of honor does, he will give his best shot. He may not be the best at it, but he will give his best to it. There may be other people that are better than him, but nobody can say that he didn't try to give his best to it. That a man of honor will always give his best to it. Now, a man of honor also finds what he's naturally good at. In other words, what you are talented at, what you are gifted at, what God has already given you good to. So that when he puts effort, he becomes great. That's why men of honor are great. Too. Because they are naturally doing, or rather they are doing something that they're already naturally good at. Most people that are not men of honor, that their children don't want to be like them, are doing something that they are not naturally gifted at. So even after hard work, they become good. Nobody wants to. Good is not the big idea. Great is the big idea. So if you want your children to be like you, find what you are already good at, then put effort to become great at it. You know what I've found, right? So if this this your number four point is so, so on point. You know, um, everyone is born with a gift and a talent. Absolutely. And a natural ability. Absolutely. Now, they say that the gift of a man, they create room. Uh, for him and Especially brings in the, him in the hall of greatness and hall of fame. Yes, and brings him before kings. And when you begin to operate before kings, you are a man of honor. Absolutely. Now, what I found is a lot of people despise their gifts, their talents, yeah. and their abilities, and they aspire for those of other people. Yes. And what begins to happen is your gifts and your talent they begin to dishonor and disrespect and despise Absolutely. you. Absolutely. So let me add one to what you have said. A man of honor honors his gifts and his talent, and his natural ability. Jeez. And if you honor it, it will, honor it will transform you into a man of honor. Absolutely. What's the fifth one? The fifth one is that a man of honor tries to do the right thing at all times, regardless of who's watching. Mm -hmm. Okay? Regardless of how many people are doing the wrong thing. A man of honor can't say everybody, everybody's uh, on show now. So they, that's, how, that's how everybody mm -hmm. is. Uh, so it may not be sure. That's not important. A man of honor knows what is right and does what is right, regardless of who is watching and regardless of how many people are doing the wrong thing. It doesn't, you know, I mean, one of the things that you find out is that true character is who you are. It's who you are when nobody is watching. It's who, the thoughts in your mind when you, nobody can hear you are your real thoughts. The words that you speak when you think you are saying is speaking a secret. Are the things that determine whether you're a man of honor or not. So you're a real man of honor when you can be honorable in secret. When you can be honorable in secret, when you can open your cupboard and let everybody see whether their skeleton is there. Okay. Okay. Number six. Number six, a man of honor values time and makes the best use of it. Hey, this time matter, fella. African time, Nigerian time. Mm -hmm. How many men of honor? See, I, I have met several men of honor, including yourself. Mm. And do you know something? Since I have known you, mm. I mean, I'm talking about, we've known each other now maybe 20, 30 years, or yeah. 30 years, 30 years. I have, you have not been late once. Mm. Before you became coach, I, we have never agreed once mm. in my life, in 30 years or so that I've known you. You have never been late once. So when we're talking about time or not being late or doing things on time, or you know, is uh, there is a man that I know, I mean, I, I, had, I had a meeting with Dr. Christopher Collade yesterday. Wow. 
Everybody knows that that man, I, how he does it, only God can tell. But he has never been late, literally, to a meeting. Because you know what? Men of honor don't want to go into a meeting and start saying, I'm sorry. sorry. Mm -hmm. It's not that they are proud. They just don't want to have to do that. Plus, more than anything else, remember where we started from. We said a man of honor is somebody that can be worthy of emulation. So if you are late, then everybody else will be late now. Mm -hmm. You know, don't forget that there will always be a reason for you to be late. late. Right? But it's, it's not when you arrived that is the important thing. It's when you left where you were going. <laughs> so, so if I left home on time, even with traffic, I will arrive on time. Yes. Yeah, so and, and, and a man, of, leave room for, and for a, a man of honor knows the value of every day. Knows that, listen, it doesn't matter how many years you have been putting in. Today is the most important day. Hmm. A man of honor values today over his past because today is the day he uses to shape the future. So the, the, the things that have happened in the past have happened. But today is the most important day to a man of honor. Wow. He values time, he respects time, he honors time because he knows that time is all that we have in exchange for, for anything. Yes, you know, um, this topic is very, very important to Fela and I because um, we understand that for us to rebuild a nation, we have to rebuild the man in the nation and the woman in the nation and the man and the woman that come together in this nation. If men can change, if every man becomes a man of honor, the world has changed. If every man in Nigeria becomes a man of honor, we have changed Nigeria. We do not need to wait for our leaders for change to happen. When change happens in the hearts of every man, everything will change. Well, listen, we know that, I mean, on November 23, 2004, um, God, Larry was in Dubai, I was in Lagos, and God spoke to us the same night about the same thing, December 31, 2025, and that we would build a new nation called a new Nigeria um, that would be a most desirable nation to live in. Now, as, as you know, nations are built, so it's not like you just wake up one day and Nigeria would have become the most desirable nation. But how do you build? You build one brick at a time. Who are the blocks? The blocks of a nation are the people of a nation. We so make, so, we so what we are doing right now is building one man at a time. But we are multiplying it on the airwaves because once you can be a man who makes a positive impact on everyone you meet and everywhere you go, once you can be a man who is a solution provider and not a part of the problem to be solved, once you can be a role model worthy of emulation, once you can be your best in all that you do, particularly the things you are naturally good at. Once you determine to be and to do all that is right in your own eyes, particularly the things that you know that is are right, regardless of who is, who is doing the wrong thing, once you determine in your heart to value time and make the best use of it, you are already a man of honor. So just to share with let, you. Let me spook you. You know, um, I just came back from Dubai, <laughs> you know, 10 years after. <laughs> and 10 years to go. <laughs> and 10 years to go, you know, and God says to me, you know, um, this was where I gave you that mandate, um, to go change for me one, one mind and one life at a time. And it's 10 years now. I am taking you to the next level and the next dimension. Hmm. And this was 10 years ago. Hmm. So God is very, very, strategic. very strategic. Right now, we're on the airwaves 10 years after telling people that it's a new beginning. What, what, what you also have to remember is that 10 years ago, you and I were busy just following our money. Oh, we're, <laughs> Just we're doing our own money, thing. Yeah. Now, today, we are building nations. Yeah. Now, people look at us and they call us. They don't call you an engineer. They don't call you. And they, they don't know that. Maybe people don't know. That, that really is a civil engineer. Yeah. He's, a, he's a fashion consultant, an image consultant. He's all of that. Oh but guess what? Today, builder. the man is a nation builder. I'm a people builder. Because ultimately, men of honor build nations. They love their nation. You know, they invest in their nation. They speak well of their nation. They men of honor of give a nation that they are proud to hand over to their children, and their children are grateful for. Mm. You know, when, you have, when a nation is filled with men without honor, or men of dishonor, then they will take light out of our bulbs. They will knock water out of our taps. Mm. They will knock health out of our hospitals. They will knock education out of our schools. They will knock safety out of our roads and call it a road safety commission. You know, you know fella, you know, we have a mandate for this nation. 
right? And um, it's very, very critical, and, and, and I actually feel the onshot for, for, for a new nation right now. It's most critical that we speak into this nation. Uh, we speak into the lives of everyone in this nation, and every man in a place of authority in this nation, right? Um, so, fella, you take the lead. Begin to speak um, into the lives of every man in this nation, because when the men, when they step into that place that God has put them into, when they take their mantle, when they take their mandate seriously, and they begin to execute on God's mandate for them, then this nation will change just like that. The three things I want to say very quickly, in addition to that which I have spoken to the lives of the men, man, a man of honor cares and shows respect for all through his words and his actions. A man of honor is a respecter of people, regardless of age. A man of honor does not say, I will respect only those who are ahead of me, or those that are greater, or greater than me, or those that are richer than me. A man of honor is a man of respect throughout. Number eight, uh, number, seven, number eight, a man of honor consciously builds a great legacy. A man of honor recognizes that I came from eternity and going back to eternity. In the time that I'm here, I have to build a legacy so that my legacy can continue to speak for me on behalf of my children after I'm gone. Listen, Larry, do you know that there are two kinds of men? There are the men who, after they've lived their lives, their name become padlocks. And then there are men who, after they've lived their lives, their name become keys. A man of honor, his name is a key. It opens doors of opportunity for everybody that carries his name, whether they are related to him or not, because he's a man of honor. The ninth thing that I said makes up the, 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 the man of honor is that a man of honor is a man of integrity. And a man who keeps his word, he does the right thing. This is what it makes up a man of honor. And the idea here is very simple. Men, let us arise. These things that we have talked about, they're already inside you. You just have to determine that we will build this nation. God has already said Nigeria will be the most desirable nation to live in by December 31, 2025. It is an honor for you and I to be alive at this time. We are the builders of this nation. And we will finish and hand it over to our children. Wow. Now, I speak to every man out there. I say that you are a man of honor. I say that it is your time to arise and shine. It is your time to be aware of your essence. It's a time that you know who you are. You are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. You are handsome, charismatic, charming, gifted, and bold. You are compassionate, selfless, generous, kind, and trustworthy. A man of honor is the man that I'm speaking to, and I declare that you are prudent, you are patient, you are responsible, you are resilient, you are persistent, you are diligent, you are sensitive. I speak to you that you are wealthy, you are powerful, you have authority, you are humble. You are a provider, you are a protector, you are a keeper, you are a lover. You have dignity, you have wisdom, you have discretion, you are discerning. You have knowledge, insight, and understanding. You sense, you see, you seize every opportunity that is open unto you. You make the right choices always. You are ready for a great future. You are enterprising, you are productive, you are prosperous, you are succeeding. Everything you touch as a man of honor increases in value. You excel in all that you do. You live your dreams and your vision purposefully. You enjoy and you live every moment on earth in love and in peace. You see good at all times. You hear about and speak only of wonderful things. You are respected everywhere you go. You are content. You are satisfied. You, are, you deeply enjoy your life and your relationships. You love all and you are loved by all. You experience a wholesome life balance and personal power. You have true happiness, peace, tranquility, and joy. You are confident. You are passionate. You are secure. You are fulfilled. You are free. You are alive. And I declare unto you that you are a man of honor. Now, fella. In wrapping up, right, um, what are your last words to our, our listeners out there? Let me say it this way. As long as you can hear Larry and I, as long as you can understand what we are saying, then you can be a man of honor. A man of honor is not what you are going to be, it's who you already are. It's inside of you. The man of honor is in you. You just have to let that man of honor come out. So go ahead and be all you can be. Because that is the way we're going to deliver the future of this country. I love you. If you're listening to me, and you can raise your right hand right now. I would say with me, 
I am a man of honor. I am a man of honor. I will do honorable things. I will do honorable things. I will be an honorable man. I will be an honorable man. And I will have honorable things. And I will have honorable things. So help me God. So help me God. Chris, man, this has been phenomenal. Wow. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not surprised that we didn't get that many calls because, <laughs> you know, you're talking about this topic is a topic that touches people's hearts and souls. And you know, when you're not doing something correctly and your heart is telling you, you know, you, you, you can't lie to yourself. You know when you're not doing something. And when people, like, you know, not necessarily pointing fingers at you, but explain it to you and you understand that things are not going how they're supposed to go. Sometimes people just don't want to like, you know, openly admit it. So I'm not surprised we didn't get that many calls for this particular topic, you know, being a man of honor, because you, you, you pricked a lot of consciences. That's what you did today. Wow. This is the beginning of a new beginning for our great nation. When men take their rightful position and they pursue honor and they become honorable men, our nation, has just begun to turn around. It's not about our leaders, it's about us. Every leader is a leader because he has followers. The quality of our leadership, of our leaders, speaks about the quality of the followers that they have. Let's begin to be followers that are honorable and we will put forward honorable men.